Okay, everybody, this is just uh, another blog update. Um, it is February 7th. Yeah, February 7th. It hasn't even been a true month since my, my surgery. My surgery was January 13th. And, um, yeah, I, uh, it is, uh, it's been a remarkable, um, progress, um, that I've witnessed, uh, not even a month. And, and, uh, you know, I'm, I've already had two, um, physical therapy sessions and, uh, I feel great. Um, I'm able to do basic things that I need to do with my wrist. I'm not wearing a splint anymore. I'm not wearing a cast. I'm not wearing any wrist support. Um, I'm, you know able to function normal, you know, like for the most part. I still got a lot more to improve on, but uh, I just want to let you guys know some of the exercises I'm doing, and this is just basic stuff. If you want, you can pause the video and, uh, you know, just take a look at what I'm doing and uh, maybe do some of these things yourself if you ever come across this, uh, this surgery and this... Um, procedure. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to meet with a physical therapist if you do go through this. So you, you'll find this uh, on your own. Um, but I uh, just want to show you some of the things I'm doing that's not necessarily physical therapy. Um, I am clear by my, my doctor to be doing anything that I can do um, within, you know, reason. You know, I'm not doing anything that would hurt my wrist. Uh, with, with, basically anything that's within, um, you know, my comfort level. Um, obviously, the bones are, are aligned and in place, and I can start doing things. Uh, you know, however intense I can do it, or I want to do it. You know, um, and of course, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. If my wrist really hurts, I'm not going to do it. Um, but I am going to do things, not just you know, just those workouts. But I'm going to do other things around the house, other things that I've learned throughout the years as far as wrist. Uh, uh, maneuvers and stuff like that to help with re rehabilitation and to break down some of the scar tissue. So I'm going to show that to you guys today. And again, um, you know, it, it's, it's hard to believe that it's not even been a, a full month that I'm doing this stuff. And uh, the things I'm going to be showing you guys, again, there's it's things that I can do. It's things that I, I don't really have that much pain. Um, I can feel a little stretch in it, which is a good thing. And, uh, you know, every day it's getting better and better. My wrist is getting more loose. My wrist is, uh, you know, feeling better. Um, the only thing, I mean, as far as my range of motion right now, um, that, that's about all I get right now. But it's going to get better and better throughout time once the inflammation and stuff goes down. Within, you know, my physical therapist said it might take, you know, four to five, five months. Um, that's just natural. Um, but as far as, you know, being able to open my hands, I can only open up my fingers about there. She said the only problem she sees with my, my hand, and this is completely normal, is I'm not able to get full flexion of my uh, fingers. My fingers can't go backwards and um, stuff like that. And they're kind of getting tied up around my surgical site. So, I mean, just I, I have to keep working it out, and uh, it'll get better and better. So that's the only complaint I have. Everything else feels great. So. Okay, guys, well, um, one of the things I've been doing for my wrist is something that uses um, anything. You can substitute this. I'm using a, a aluminum bat that I had when I was really little. Um, it's only 11 ounces. Um, but it's, it's something you can substitute this with any type of stick or, um, you know, pipe or anything like that. Something that, that's long and you can kind of use kind of like what I'm going to show you right now, and that's basically, I'm going to show you a workout that I used to do whenever I was in high school, and this basically just strengthens your wrist and your forearm. I was big into arm wrestling, I was big into uh, building the forearms, something like that I used to do this with uh, heavy weights, but now, of course, you see, uh, I am now reduced to 11 pounds, so, um, what I'm doing, this is uh, this is my uh, hurt hand, this is my, well, my surgically repaired hand, my handicapped hand for right now. Um, what I'm doing is I'm doing a uh, lever lift. And what a lever lift is, I'll show you with my good wrist, is you're just, just with your wrist, you're pulling it upwards. No, as you can tell, my arm isn't going anywhere. My arm's in a locked position. I am just using solely my wrist. And what that does is it works on this motion upwards toward this angle. Now, PRC, 
my physical therapist said my range of motion is going to be limited the most in this movement, moving inwards, like towards my body. Now outwards with my wrist, I'll be able to get more range of motion back, but it's going to be inwards that I'm going to have the most um, uh, limitations. So um, I felt that this was a good way to, uh, you know, just exercise the wrist and maybe get the most that I can out of it. So I'm just going to show you. This is my bad wrist. Now, I can't do it from the handle 100% correct. Sometimes I have to jack up my arm a little bit. But uh, you can always make adjustments, like I'm going to make an adjustment right now. I'm going to choke up on the, on the bat head or, or choke up farther on the pipe or anything that you can substitute, stick, whatever. And just go like that. Now I'm just using my wrist. And I can, I can feel a little bit of pain. I can feel um, just some stretching. And it, that's a good thing. I mean, as long as, it doesn't, as, long as it's not feeling like you know, your, your hand's going to rip off, it's good. So um, I can work it out that way. And you know, over time, um, my wrist gets better and better. I'll be able to slide down on the bat more or it gets more difficult just because all this leverage and the gravity uh, is more you have to work against. Also, I do try it the opposite way. The opposite way is I'm not as limited going out. And so I take it and I go like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up. As you can see, since I'm not as limited, like I told you before, going this way, I'm able to go all the way at the bottom of the back where you think it's most difficult. I cannot do that the other way because I gotta work at it still and I'm probably not gonna recover as much range of motion the other way. So that's that and I also kind of kind of play like like I'm play around with a bat like I'm about to, you know, swing for a base hit or something like that. If I'm playing baseball I just like to loosen up my wrist like this. And um, just kinda like, you know, just using my wrist, and I'm twirling the bat. And what that does is it's kind of just forcing my wrist to ever so slightly just turn and uh, you know handle the weight from pretty much every angle as this bat's going around in a 360 degree um, travel here. And uh, yeah, it's just loosening up my wrist. And the more I do it, the less pain I get. And it's just basically breaking down scar tissue and stretching out the tendons. So I do that, and I also kind of do like a swing. Now, like when I first started doing these exercises, I couldn't do this um, at this speed. Obviously, my good wrist, I can do this all day long. I can't do it right now, but uh, you know, I am starting to get better with it. I also do the other way. And uh, that's just, again, stretching more out the rest. Now, this is something interesting that I just want to show you guys. I'll probably upload a video, uh, a review video about the, um, the burn machine. Now, this thing is awesome. Um, I mean, not just for wrist rehabilitation. I'm not, it, it wasn't designed for that. Um, but I, I got it some time ago. And basically what it is, it's a, it's, a, it's a speed bag simulator. A lot of MMA fighters, wrestlers, a lot of professional athletes use this machine. But um, I have the professional model, and uh, this, this thing lives up to its name. It's the burn machine. It works on your shoulders and all that stuff. But the one thing I like about it is just the freedom of motion. And doing this works out my wrist. And the closer I pull it in, the less tension is on my wrist because it's closer now. The farther I go out with this, the more I'm working my wrist, and it's like I'm pulling. It's like I'm I'm taking a rope and I'm pulling and I'm pulling, and it's, I'm kind of doing this motion with my wrist. It kind of stretches my wrist out, and uh, also gives myself a good shoulder workout. But yeah, this is really good. Also, the one thing I like about this machine is it's you can do stuff like this. Um, you can you can get creative with it. Um, I'm doing this for my wrist, as my, my bad wrist is uh, on the outside making a circle, so it's like I'm stirring a pot. It's like I'm stirring something and uh, I'm using my wrist. 
Uh, another thing I like to use to do, just honestly, just holding it. Holding it like that, just letting the weight be, become dead weight, so to speak, and uh, just kind of stretching out the tendons and, and the muscles there. Um, another way to do this is uh, just holding it up like that. Now, my grip strength is very weak. I can only hold it for about three, four, maybe five seconds. Um, but again, it's easier when I, I have it closer to my body than, than out here. But I can feel the stretch. I can feel, I can feel the good, the good feeling pain uh, in this. Uh, again, uh, just with any rehabilitation, you're gonna go through a little bit of pain. Mine is not severe at all. Um, and uh, you know I'm making great progress so also if I could I would do this that's a good way to do it um, and of course this is my my good wrist I'm not going to be doing this anytime soon but um, I am going to show you guys a video when it's all said and done of me doing some crazy things to my wrist once everything heals and, and is uh, 100%. Um, this is uh, the Cowboy Gunslinger, and this is this has a heavy load on your wrist. I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. But look up the burn machine. If you guys have the burn machine, obviously you can use it for wrist rehabilitation. If not, just look at look look it up. I mean, if you're looking for a, a good workout tool to use at home, by all means use it. This is what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing with it, and. Um, just one more thing before I, I go. Um, I like how the handles, you could honestly just work your wrists, flexing it in and out, side to side. And uh, of course, once I get it good enough where I can do it while holding it up and going through this motion, that would be great progress for me. So that's what I'm doing right now along with my um, my physical therapy workouts. It's, it's going well. My wrist feels great. Um, you know, just got to work on my fingers. Um, uh, getting up to neutral and um, bending backwards like this. I can't, uh, yeah, my, the, the tendons keep getting caught up in the incision sites and it's just going to take some time for that. But as far as moving it side to side, my grip strength's getting better. Uh, my ability to do things around the house is phenomenally better than what it was just last week. Um, so I'm, I, I'm making progress and, uh, you know, hopefully this gives you guys hope. If you guys are going through this procedure, you guys can come back from it. Um, you know, I'm just very fortunate that you know, I've made the progress that I did. I'm not saying I, I'm, I'm a genius or I, I did this on my own. I certainly didn't. It, it came with a great surgeon who knew what he was doing, uh, diagnosed the problem correctly, did a fantastic job with the procedure and the surgery. Um, just great information that I've gotten from, from those people. Um, you know, obviously the nutrition. I, I, I can't stress enough how important nutrition is leading up to a surgery and immediately after. It honestly, it speeds up recovery so much. Um, I, I know people that have had this procedure one month and they're you know, barely making any progress. They have about the same amount of progress as I did maybe within the first two weeks of me having surgery um, or, or the first uh, day that I had the cast taken off. Those people, I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty far ahead of, of most people. I just want to put it out there is nutrition and honestly just getting the right information and uh, being positive, upbeat about it and uh, doing everything the right way and just you know be aggressive you know don't hurt yourself but don't be afraid just you know do things and, and to try to heal yourself you know uh, I'm doing things on the side I could just be just a normal person or just another person just just doing these exercises yeah, you'll get results, but I mean, if you, this is only, this is only a little bit. This is, you, if you do a lot more than this, your, your, your results, your recovery process is going to be a lot faster and a lot sooner. So, I'm just doing things on the side, and uh, yeah, so that's my progress. I'm doing great. 
and uh, hopefully see you guys soon with another big update and more progress on my list. Thank you.